Hi, my name is Cesar Reese, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Braille keyboard for your iPhone. Not this $2,000 ridiculously expensive Braille keyboard, which I've already done a video on. If you want to see that, look in the description. Um, what I'm talking about is a keyboard you could find on your iPhone. It's built right in, and it's a virtual Braille keyboard. Let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is turn on voiceover. voiceover <laughs> of course. On. Calendar. Settings. Go to settings. Double. Settings. General accessibility. General. Button. General. Car accessibility. Button. Click on voiceover. 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 And navigate down to where it says rotor. Sorry. Navigate down where it says to where it says rotor. Rotor. Button. Rotor. Then. Back button. Selected. Heading. Scroll Rose down. Rows 15 to 31 of 32. Two times. Rotor. Heading. Selected. Typing mode. Go all the way to the bottom of the list and then go up. Text selection. Selected. Braille screen input. Three times. Once you get to Braille screen input, you select it. Then you can click home. Good to go. So, let me find somewhere to type. Hmm. Wallet. Double tap to open. Voice over off. Let me go to page. Oh, oh, oh no. Let me go to pages real quick. If my phone will cooperate. All right. Let's go to pages. New note. Alright, so here's how this works. Voiceover on. You leave voiceover on and then you Body. use the field. you use the rotor. So words. Speech rate. Headings. Braille screen. Landscape. Home button to the left. Screen away mode. Six dot. So whenever you have the iPhone faced away from you, I have it faced um towards you right now so that if you can see you can see where the dots are and if you can't if you have the device faced away from you Home button to the right. Screen away mode. dots one two three is on your l oh, hold on sorry dots one two three are on your left side and dots four, five, six are on your right side. Now, the table best way to use this is in tabletop table mode. mode. Let me readjust my camera. Tabletop mode. Let me readjust my camera real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. In the next clip, I made a mistake and said four fingers when I should have said three. <laughs> so that's my mistake. Uh, let's get back to the video. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I've readjusted my camera and everything's back to the way it should be. All right, so to use this mode, you need to put four fingers on one side, then lift it immediately after, then put four fingers on the other side and lift it immediately after. So to adjust it to where your fingers are. Sorry. L. Dots four five six. Dot M. Dot L. Sometimes it's a little unresponsive, but um, you do have to get used to it. L. Dots four five six. Okay, so I guess I do have them calibrated. Dot L. So once you have it calibrated, you can type just regular Braille. So. A. A B C D E. <laughs> so, it's as simple as that. All you got to do is set it up, play with it a little bit. Sometimes it may not work. Sometimes it may frustrate you a little bit. If it does, just leave it alone for a little while. And then you should be able to get back on it and try it again. But it works perfectly well. And since this video will be kind of short, I'm going to show you one more trick. It's a navigation trick to get around on your iPhone a little bit easier. 
let's get into that. And let me get rid of what's on my screen right now. Okay, so to get out a Braille screen input, you just use Word. the rotor again. Alright, so now that we've done that, here's the best way to navigate on an iPhone without ever having to double tap anything to click on it. So, what would make this easy is to put your pointer finger on the screen and put your thumb off to the side of it. So, I want to click on my camera. So I'll go to camera, and then I'll just... And I'm not going to double tap. I'm just going to drop my thumb. When you drop your thumb and touch the screen with your thumb, it automatically clicks. So, let me do it again. Helps you get around a lot easier. Also, you can use your middle finger whenever your thumbs, whenever your uh, pointer finger is more towards the bottom of the screen. Use your middle finger to click on the screen one time. Settings. And Settings. you go back and forth Voice in order. So I'm going to go all the way back to the main menu just, back just with my uh, clicking my thumb. Accessibility. Back. General. Set. Settings. Back that was easy. That's it. Oh, Settings. I'm not all the way back yet. <laughs> There you go. So it lets you get around a lot easier. General. General. Accessibility. Accessibility. Voiceover. Voiceover. Speech. Braille. Braille. Equations use me. I don't know. Voiceover. Voice. It's that easy. You can get around relatively very quickly with this mode. Or using this method. So that's just a little extra for this video to make it longer <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed I hope you found any of these things useful and if you found a use for it that's or a use for the braille keyboard that's uh, very I don't know inspirational very cool then put it in the comments because I'd love to know about it but other than that that's all I have for today Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you can. And um, if you didn't like anything about it, please tell me why. I love constructive criticism. Alright, well, whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.